Tell me what you want, tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that you're running away I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay, no, no, no I just want to be with you, I just want to be with you, yeah Hi, I'm Thais. I've decided to take you with me on this eye-opening journey. I'm here in Lviv, Ukraine's most quirkiest city. Hey there, just spent the night on the train all the way from Kiev to Lviv. So we're just coming in in another half hour. And uh, surprisingly, the train was quite comfortable and I managed to get some sleep. The train trip took look at my puffy eyes from all the sleep uh, a train trip took, took between almost almost seven hours um and that was only from kiev to lviv so that's a that's not even from one side of this country to the other side this is only half of it so to put it into perspective the size of ukraine is it's, they reckon it's the size of New South Wales. And I spent the first night ever on an overnight train. But it, it really just puts it into perspective of how large this country is. And if you think about where it is geographically located, um, it's a very big country. Lviv certainly came as a bit of a shock. I felt like 30% of the city was underground. Lying right below the city is this abundance of secret passageways and tunnels. And if it wasn't for my guide, I probably would not have seen as much as I did. I've teamed up with our tour guide, Yolanda, from Lviv Buddy. She's a true local and knows everything about the city. So, hi, my name is Ulana, and I'm working as a guide in Lviv, in the most beautiful city in Ukraine. So, a uh, few basic facts about Lviv. We start our history from 13th century. And by legend, the city was found by Ukrainian king, Daniel of Galicia. And he named it after his son. This door leads towards an underground pathway under the church. So, let's have a look. Yeah, 17th yeah, yeah, and very, very overweight. <laughs> He needed a big coffin. So, but what what was the mystery? Because the coffin was empty, yeah. and you see it's broken from yeah, on the, the side. Back, from, from the side. And this how we got a rumor that actually when he was buried, he didn't die. So he woke up in the coffin, broke it from inside, and freed himself. Yeah, I don't believe but that. The problem <laughs> is. Uh, as you can see, it's actually made from stone and it's quite heavy, it's very oh, heavy. Yeah, you know, he would the weight is uh, more than 600 kilos yeah. and for human being it's impossible to break it from inside. Yeah. And another reason, as you can see, it's quite small. So remember, now everything Everything's is gone up higher. about. So the whole place, the roof must be tunnels and yes, tunnels Yes, and actually tunnels. we have this like the whole underground city, but it was ruined a couple of times. Uh, first by Austrians, then by Soviets. And both actually were afraid that political uh, opposition was going to use it for rebellion. Lviv is more than 760 something years old. The city is Onesto listed and it's the country's least Soviet. I stumbled across the Soviet building. You can tell by the architecture. It doesn't look like it's crumbling yet. Oh, look at the signage. Beautiful signage right on the side there. And right next to it is basically some trampolines, a jumping castle that's deflated, Ferris wheel for some kids. Maybe this is how the people entertain themselves. It's a bit lost, we're looking for where we're going. But getting lost is cool because you get to find things like this. I want to break into it. Oh, weird place. Very weird. So, what what's the story behind this restaurant? Uh, it is dedicated to Ukrainian insurgent army. Uh, it was our moment of resistance during Second World War. 
they were fighting against Soviet troops and also against Nazis. And this is it's kind of like their headquarters. So here you have all the radio stations. Yeah, this is amazing, old all stuff. The motorcycle. The lab, very essential with uh, knife, sure. symbolizing drama. So music and drama all together they're making opera. Okay. And in the middle it's a glory. So it has this uh, palm uh, tree. Palm uh, Palm leaf. Palm leaf. Golden palm leaf. And actually there is something unusual about glory. Can you find what exactly? Palm leaf, angel wings. No, I can't see it. She has, she has a belly. Does she? Okay. So I wouldn't have seen that. So actually she's pregnant. Oh, okay. Uh, and so by legend actually uh, it is a legend and there was a story in local newspapers from that time so i don't know is it true or not but actually sounds uh, quite cool Lviv exudes an authentic central european charm visit market square saint george's cathedral and the dominican cathedral there's a pharmacy in mint condition and it is still in operation today you'll see many colored jars. Discover how they stored, dried and pressed the medicine back in the olden days. I'm out the front of a Lviv original pharmacy and they've kept it exactly as it was. So follow me and let's have a look. Bottles, how they used to store things in the drawers and everything's labeled a certain way. And the ceiling is really, really high. And underneath us is some uh, pathways and caves from the original house. Uh, because different chemical elements they can uh, get oxidated from Oxidized. air or from sun or from light, so this is why it has different colors. Okay. And some of them are quite nice, like here. Pink for longer winter. Oh, so yeah. it's a mixture for long life. Mixture for long life. But you know, in 19th century 45 it was a long life already. For example, you can try to oh, lift, lift a pot. Up. Wow, no, no, I see how heavy that Ken. is. Ken. <laughs> this one? So it's a pencil and Morton. Where is it? And there should be cocaine as well. Yeah, it's right behind the door. And there is uh, oh, cannabis cocaine. to start. And heroin. <laughs> because actually drugs were made from drugs. Yes, that's right. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and... In English it's actually one word. It's like cooking. People making tools. Yeah. Tools. So most of the tools were made from uh, plants. Yes. And that was for drying herbs. Cool. This is fascinating. So one room it was uh, pharmacy's library. It's actually not that much interesting here. All the photos, the pictures. Okay. Uh, the picture of the last owner. Beautiful Soviet time. Oh wow. And actually he stayed here. He had a possibility to run away abroad. Oh. Because he was rich. Uh, so, so it's like confiscated all his property, but left him and his family one room, so they were living here till the 60s. Whoa. Which is also not so nice. They killed him. Like they did many other people. But was he Jewish? Uh, no, he was Ukrainian. Ukrainian, okay. Ukrainian actually he made money on oil. Okay. Uh, pharmacy business it was kind of his dream and it explains why he didn't left city after Soviet came here. Oh this is so cool. His dream finally came true. Okay. And here's a painting <laughs> pictures of old pharmacies in the view. Actually we used to have dozens of them. And now almost all of them are closed or sold on the terrain. And here you can see like typical VVL. 
especially around Kurinov Square, because all the buildings they have these tiny yards. Mm -hmm. uh, first, you have more light inside. Mm -hmm. and you know, it was like a chilling place for people who lived here. And in some cases, it was also like a parking spot for horses. Oh, right, of course. Of course. So, this part was for business, and this part was for the pharmacy the family, family lead. They lived here. And pharmacy family. family. Alchemist room, because of course Alchemist was working here. Okay, but the as door. you can see, it was kitchen. The door's beautiful as well. Yeah, the but ceiling. the door is beautiful, and also the windows, they're actually original from Renaissance. Wow. And here you can tell you have ever seen Alchemist, maybe? Like Tarto, old. Yes. The city had many invaders. Lviv managed to borrow some of the best architecture, traditions and culinary culture. It's still very strong and obvious today. Watch them twist and turn coffee in a box of black sand, then pour it into a cup carefully. You're not ruining the picture, guys. You're all part of it. Don't worry. Our beautiful tour guide. So I haven't been to the old town. We hadn't actually explored this area yet. No, I felt like we were always in that new modern square. So now we're on the Armenian street. Yeah. And we had a big Armenian community. Yep. And this coffee shop is actually famous. It's working since Soviet time. And it's Soviet time, it was like a center of uh, local hippie movement. Oh, hipsters. And nice. So you see paintings on the wall, so there is a pictures, most of them are from 70s and and it's a local people who were well, here. part of this movement back then. And you know, it wasn't so easy to be a hippie in the Soviet Union. <laughs> no. So you need to work your ship in the factory. That's right. And only after you're allowed. Four different types, this means coffee. Yeah, it's coffee on the sand and it's Arabica from Nicaragua, like their special Armenian, mm -hmm. uh, it's the name of the coffee shop, uh, it's uh, the mix probably Arabica and Robusta. The last one? Without coffee. Food is relatively cheap. Indulge in Lviv's famous Bosch beetroot soup, served with a creamy dollop of sour cream. This is sour cream, mm -hmm. this is beans. Uh -huh. You need to put everything together, mix it, and then you eat. Okay, it, so tastes, it tastes better with sour cream because it's making the taste more soft. And also, both should be very, very hot. Sour cream is cold. Okay. And all together, they are perfect. Alright, let's do this together. So we put the beans yes, in. Uh, and One, three. <laughs> One, two, three. It's, you know, different people have this different taste. Okay, and then you just mix stir it. Stir it together. You see it's very, very red. No yes. orange motives. Varanikis are a local favourite. These dumplings come in a variety of flavours. Potato, cabbage, potato and meat, potato and salo, sweet or salted curd, pumpkin, cherries and so on. The filling is wrapped in a dough and cooked for five minutes or less. So traditionally we eat it with sour cream which is right mm -hmm. here. And so, just put it on? Uh, in your plate. Oh, you put it in your plate? Not everyone likes it. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> like me, for example. <laughs> pass it around. We each have one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, and I'm just going to... Okay, so you just... I put the beef cheeks. Put it in. Mm -hmm. Ready? So, how is it? Delicious. Mm -hmm. Good one. Really, Could you really tasty. 
Yum. Of course. This is a real treat because these ones are the dessert variety and they come with the cherry in the middle. And Lviv is very well known for their cherry like wine and desserts. Look at that. Mm. Climb into a mine and don't forget your miner's hat. Enjoy the novelty. Order the coffee like creme brulee. It's very entertaining. A weekend in Lviv just simply isn't enough. It's a destination I'm never going to forget. <laughs>